Welcome to Traveling While Black in Seattle. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley. And welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black in Seattle. Yes, welcome back, everyone. And as a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences in and around Seattle. And we base those experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? So it's that time of year, y'all, where people are out picking pumpkins because it's fall. And you see pumpkins everywhere from decorations to your favorite latte. And it's also that time of fall where people actually enjoy pumpkin flavored manual labor by going out and picking the heavy pumpkins. And if you happen to be one of those people, then this episode is for you. Yeah, so we went to Sierra's Farms and decided to pick some pumpkins and experience their farm in general. Yep, so take a look at the episode, even if you're not a manual labor loving person. And as always, let us know what you think. Sears Farm is, how they put it, a small farm just on the outskirts of Redmond, Washington. But this small farm does offer a variety of options for fun. Yep, options which of course include picking possibly heavy pumpkins from their farm's pumpkin patch. Drive grade. So the farm is about a 34 minute drive from the city. The route to the pumpkin patch wasn't the most fun. We ran into traffic throughout the whole way. We did go on a weekday, so this could have contributed to all the traffic. As for the views, it was raining on the day we went. Other than crossing over Bellevue, the views weren't the best. As we mentioned in the overview, the farm is located on the outskirts of Redmond. For us, that means going all the way through Redmond. And when they say outskirts, we mean outskirts. For this interesting journey, for drive grade, we give a 3 out of 5. Level of fun. During pumpkin season, which is the whole month of October, the farm is open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 3 to 6 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pumpkin season. Ah, makes my back hurt just from the mention. <laughs> but picking pumpkins isn't the only thing visitors can do on the farm. They can also check out the corn maze. Which we did. Yes, we wandered through. And this time going through a corn maze, we somehow made it out. It wasn't that hard. The farm also offers duck races. Which we did, and my duck won, ha. Huh? They also have an animal train that takes folks around the farm. We thought we might be too big for uh, that ride. But main feature during pumpkin season is of course the patch, and it is pretty easy. Speak for yourself. You grab your wheelbarrow up at the front and then you're off. The farm does offer a variety of pumpkins, ranging from small ones to some real backbreakers. So after searching for the right one, we finally picked out a pumpkin to our liking, loaded it up, and was ready to go. You just take it up to the front where they weigh it, and then you pay. All in all, our day at the farm wasn't bad. We found our pumpkin and got outside for some fall fun. Still, your boy has to knock some off for the manual labor that took place on that day. So, we give a 3 out of 5 for level of fun. Comfortability for black people. So, we were the only black folk on the farm. Not really a surprise, but all good though. However, we did see a diverse group of visitors. The staff was friendly and welcoming, and everyone seemed to be in a good mood. And we felt pretty comfortable. We know that on the surface, rolling down backcountry roads on the outskirts of town, going onto a farm, into a field, to pick things. <clears throat> Sounds crazy for black folks to do, but you can trust us. For comfortability for black people, we give a four out of five. We hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out all of our previous episodes. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our page on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our merchandise on TravelingWhileBlackSeattle.com. And reach out if there's anywhere you would like us to go check out. Until next time, beautiful people. Stay up, stay true, and do you.